Now, in other cases, our program, you know, we developed the SHARP method basically to help answer the rest of those questions. So we look at someone's genetics. So your detox capability, things like your vitamin D pathway, your antioxidant pathway, how you methylate, how you uh, metabolize and use glutathione to help with chemicals you're exposed to. Some of them work better than others, of course. And in my client uh, population, about 83% have SNPs or problems in each of those pathways. Whereas if you just looked at the individual incidents, it's basically the same as the global population. But cumulatively, if I told you 83% of the people I take care of have that problem, you'd be like, oh my gosh. So, so it sounds like if someone was considering getting breast implants and they couldn't use their own fat, that it would be wise to check this ahead of time. And if you are in that 83 or 84%, am I hearing right, that this you would sh wouldn't be a candidate? Like precision medicine or, or being more intentional about what we're doing is important. And do you think that like um, there is a percentage of the population that can be fine with them? Yeah, absolutely. I also know that from talking to you, you never said, oh, no one can have these. You just said yeah. they're creating problems in some people. So you finally validated which this situation that women knew was happening, <laughs> you know, but. I think the women have been very intuitive. They know when something's not right. And I, I give credit to the patients for not listening to folks telling them that there's nothing wrong. So we want to start the conversation about genetics because you can't stick your head in the sand and say this doesn't exists. It's not a problem. And then the other thing that is interesting now on the influencer circuit is toxicity rate.